Greetings, fellow test subjects. Test subject 1337 here for Aperture Gaming. They make it, we test it, you play it. Now, uh, we received a bunch of news and information updates, so we are going to just cover something about new upcoming games and some information in regards to Assassin's Creed series. So without further ado, here we go. Uh, it was recently announced through, through uh, Game Informer that uh, Echo Unlimited has a... Uh, has announced that they are still working on the Mark Echo sequel. The original game, titled Mark Echo's Getting Up, Contents Under Pressure, re was released in 2006. The plot revolved around you playing a character named Train, who discovered a conspiracy in the city and had to use graffiti art to overthrow the overzealous police officers and expose the corrupt, a corrupt official. Now, I've played the game, and I will do an old-school review about it later, but I think this will be interesting. It's been eight years since the game's release, so with advancements in technology for the PS3 and 4, we might see, like, an open world, or design your own stencils, or design the way you paint, or who knows how this will work out. I'm interested to see how this uh, will play out. Yeah, so if we get any more information, we will post it, so stay tuned. This I find interesting and funny. Uh, the following image was uh, posted uh, around 2011, and the image you are now seeing on the screen I have received from GamingNexus.com. Alright, so in 2011 this image was posted and it said, Paris, July 1789, a new revolution is coming. It shows a figure wearing a frock jacket or coat with the Assassin's logo on the back, and it says Assassin's Creed 3. We were led to believe that the third game would be the French Revolution. Well, uh, they were close. It was the American Revolution. And uh, I can understand why some of the styles would look similar, but they said Paris, so that was a blatant lie. Well, it turns out, I guess it wasn't so much of a blatant lie, because uh, it was just announced that uh, Assassin's Creed Unity will be held during the French Revolution. Now, the funny thing is that Ubisoft said that this game, they, they had it, they, they were working on it for three years, and they're just trying to find the right way to introduce it. So let's see. 2011 plus 3. Holy cow, that's 2014. So either someone at Ubisoft must have just leaked just the right amount of information for this uh, image to be created. Or whoever created it is, is very, very psychic somehow about things that were going to come. So yeah, this is fairly interesting. And uh, good job to whoever created this image. And like I said, I got it from... GamingNexus.com. So I hope you enjoy it, and now for some more news. With the announcement of uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, there have been a whole bunch of rumors floating around, so we're going to cover various rumors, news, and topics point for point. So here we go. Now, uh, for Assassin's Creed Unity, it will take place during the French Revolution. And this period was from 1789 until 1799. Ten-year uh, war right there. So the question is, who will be the star? Will it be someone from a previous game, or will it be a new character, or will any of the previous uh, game characters make any cameo appearances? Let's look at the facts. Uh, for least likely candidate, I would say would be Connor. Now, he was involved during the American Revolution, and that ended in 1783-84, roughly. Uh, so technically, he would be he could be in his 30s, and start to hit 40s during the French Revolution. But Thomas Jefferson and George Washington did argue over getting involved with the French Revolution. They did not want America to get involved in this conflict after just getting out of their own. So unless there was some direct threat to Connor and his people, I highly doubt Connor would be involved with the French Revolution. So that, that nixes that theory. On the other hand, the other assassin born in America, in New Orleans, would be uh, Avelyne de Grand Prix. She is of French heritage, and she, and based on her date of birth, she would be roughly in her 40s, uh, maybe, and by the end of the French Revolution, maybe her 50s. So we did see, thanks to Ezio Autori, that uh, age, that with age, you still have the skills, or you lose them. So potentially, as a French citizen, she could be involved with the French Revolution. So the trailer did show a male protagonist, so it could be a new character, or it could be, or it could be a mislead, or she may be in there at some point as another character, as uh, one of those special side missions or DLC. 
Finally, in regards to Assassin's Creed, there is another interesting topic. Now, Ubisoft stated that they wanted to release one AC game every year, like a constant sequel going on. Very, uh, uh, very interesting business strategy. Now, I've heard through an unspecified source that there's actually a second Assassin's Creed game that is scheduled to come out uh, this year. So we have Unity and an unannounced project. Now, whether this is legit or not, or if it's just rumors and speculations, it's all up to you. Until an announcement is made after E3 or at E3, we will not know, or maybe before then. Best of luck with that. The question is, if this, if this game does exist, what is it? Will it be a mobile device game like they did with the Assassin's Creed uh, Pirates, where they had a completely different uh, pirate-based game? Uh, will it be for... And uh, what co- so if it's not for the mobile devices, what console will it be for? Uh, the Unity is set to be for PS4 and Xbox One, but will this also but will this also be for the PS4 and Xbox One? Will it be for the 360 and PS3? Will it be cro- Will it be for both con- both uh, console generations? And finally, uh, what type of game is it? Is it a DLC to one of the existing games? Will it be DLC to Unity, or w- or will it be like a standalone DLC? Uh, the best example I can come up with is a. Uh, is a uh, Freedom Cry. It started out as a DLC solely for Black Flag, but then it became a standalone DLC. So that's the thing. There's so many questions about this alleged second Assassin's Creed game. No one knows what's going on. But if we gather any information about it, we'll be sure to let you know. Okay, that is all the information we have right now for for this segment of Aperture Gaming. We hope you enjoyed it. If we prov- find any other news, we'll be sure to post about it. Until next time, this has been Test Subject 1337 saying thank you for watching and listening. Have a nice day.